I'm Rick Florence. I'm the manager of keyboard technology and event services. And that means I'm the head piano technician and I also oversee all the events that go on here. I first sat down and played just a few notes and it was really obvious that it was a very, very nice musical instrument. It had great colors, great power, really nice tone. And so it was clearly a piano that we would be interested in. One thing I couldn't wait to do was get the, the piano action back here in my shop and kind of optimize it so we can pull out all those great sounds that piano is capable of making. So what we're doing is we are optimizing the weights to match the leverage of the piano. The best way to explain that is think of a seesaw. If you have an, a, an empty seesaw, it's really easy to push up and down. You put a 100 pound kit on each side or a 50 pound kit and try and move it up and down. It's, even though it's balanced, it's harder to move. And so we, we first analyze the action and determine what the actual ratio is. And then we um, decide what the optimum weight that needs to hit the string that that ratio can, can comfortably control and, and, and push toward the strings. And then we go through and individually weigh off each part so that our weights hitting the string are consistent and therefore our weights of the keys are also consistent. It makes for a very even feel for the pianist because it controls inertia and it also helps control the mass that's hitting each individual string. It's more equalized so that the, the voicing and, and the, the tone that's created by each individual hammer is more consistent from note to note. The action is the keys that you press down and everything between the keys and the hammers and the hammers that hit the strings. And that action does slide out of the piano, um, like a big drawer almost. If you only have your piano tuned, after a while it's just gonna start not playing very well. And so most people should have tuning and other maintenance done on a regular basis. And that's what we do here. So we don't just tune pianos, we tune, we're always adjusting the voicing, we're always adjusting the regulation, and then on a continuous basis, on a regular maintenance basis, we'll pull actions down to the shop, file hammers because they get string grooves in them, change parts if needed, adjust, make adjustments, take them back up again, and then at some point we'll replace the hammers and do the action balancing that goes with, with that hammer replacement. Some we tune a couple times a semester. Some we tune um, every week. Um, you know, a lot of the practice rooms that are performance-based or some of our piano faculty. Our performance pianos are, are seen every day and sometimes multiple times a day if there's a whole bunch of recitals. So we would never let a pianist have a recital without checking the piano first. So we take it seriously because that's, that's, that's their culminating experience of, of studying this is their recital. 